ever wonder how to add an end card to your YouTube video? You know, those little videos that pop up at the end of your video on YouTube that say, hey, watch this or this next so that people will stay on your YouTube channel, which is what you want and which is what YouTube wants. They want people to stay on the platform. So if you've ever been wondering how to do that, in this video, I walk you step by step through a tutorial on how to do that using Canva end cards. You don't have to use Canva, but this will give you one additional option if you wanna make it a little bit more flashy. Hey there, Alexis Aranaya here. Welcome to my channel where I help Gen Xers and beyond grow on YouTube. Okay, let's jump into my computer and get started. So how do you make end cards for your videos? In your video editing software, you wanna add an end card into your video and leave the spots where the videos will actually be empty. In this video, at the end of the video, I have dropped this end card into my screen and it's 10 seconds long. It's animated so it is, we can play it. You can see the animated clip. Once I go into YouTube, I will choose which videos I wanna place here. And in YouTube, you can m manipulate where the videos would be placed. So I could actually leave this image blank and put in my own icon from from YouTube into this circle spot for just to put a picture there already with me and then I add in two videos. If you wanna just have one video, you could just have one arrow and just place one video up here. You can also not even use this end card that is designed and just place the videos on top of you talking, but you wanna make sure there is 10 seconds at least at the end of the video, because that's the minimum amount of time with end card at the end of your video. So you wanna have at least 10 seconds of you doing something on the screen, whether you're saying, hey, check out these videos, if you wanna learn more, and this one I talk about this, and in this one I talk about that, that will take up about 10 seconds. But if you don't wanna be talking and you just wanna kind of plop them in there for you know a visual, like, hey, check these out. Uh, you could be talking and you could place this on top of your footage. Like I could move this up on top for the last 10 seconds, but I like to add it to the end. And I make these in Canva super easily. So if you go into Canva and you type end screen YouTube, I don't know if you need to write YouTube or not, but end screen, then you should come up with a bunch of free templates that you can use to create your end screen. So here is a bunch of different templates and you can, uh, these are completely editable, so you can change all the colors and everything in them. So you could just pick one and let's say you like this one, you can click on it, open it up, and then you can say customize this template and then it opens up in another page of your browser. And then you just simply go in and you click on all the elements and change them to your own color palette for your channel. Like this is an image you could change. You can change everything in here. What I recommend actually is deleting any boxes that tell you where to put your video. Because when you're in YouTube, you have to drag your video perfectly over this box for it to, to work properly. I would actually recommend that you delete these boxes and then just put your videos in. And you can change the background to just be a color as well. So if you just delete the background, you can go in and make it whatever color you want, purple for example. And you can change everything. You can change you know, the text in these by clicking in and typing in different text. You can change the color of this to be red. I mean, whatever you want. You can go in here, you can change the font of this. You could select it and say, you don't want Anton font. You want something old fashioned times new Roman or something like that. So you can go in and you can edit everything. And then once you have it, you can just download it and you can download the animation. This is a 6.8 animation. What I would do is I would download 10 seconds. So you can go down here and you can just simply stretch this out. 10 second video that you can then plop into your editing software you are using and drop it at the end of your video and then export your video with that on there. And then you just simply go into YouTube and then you add your videos that you want in the end card section of your YouTube video upload. So let's actually go ahead and do that because I have finished exporting that particular video. Once you're in your YouTube channel, you just simply go to the create tab, which you probably know, you've probably uploaded videos before, upload video, and then you upload, you find your video and upload it. And then of course you'll wanna enter in all of this information, like the title, the description, the thumbnail, etc. I just wanna show you how to end the end card. So if we go next, here we go, add end screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit add. So as you can see, the last 10 seconds is where these clips come on. And it has the two arrows, this is animating in, so there's one arrow right now. This is the setup that I choose. You might see it looking like this, but you can just drag and drop these squares or these rectangles around. That Those rectangles represent your videos. So here, now we can see that those videos are popped in, if we scroll, scrub through the timeline, 
they are popped in here. So video best for viewer and then how long does it take to succeed on YouTube is another one of the videos. You can select one of these videos by selecting it from here and then going up here and deciding what you would rather. So if you don't want best for you viewer, you could go most recent upload. You could choose a specific video if you want to do that. So I'm actually gonna to go to the video best for viewer and I'm gonna choose a specific video. This is about Gen X, Gen Z. I'm gonna probably choose something that relates to them. Starting a YouTube channel at 40, I think would be a good one. So I might post a link to that. So why you should get on YouTube at this age. And since it's all about Gen X, Gen, Gen Y, that's basically what I'm trying to help people grow on their channel. Like I said, you can select these and you can drag them around. So if you picked a different layout where there maybe two boxes were like this, then you could move them to the proper location so that it relates to your animation. But for me, this is the location where my two arrows at the end, I can show you. Once the arrows show up, they will show these videos. So I actually want to slide them over a little bit more. So they will look something like that, where they are pointing at the videos you should be watching. So that's how you add an end card. You just add it into your edited video first, the Canva version. And if you don't do that, then you are simply just gonna be placing these videos over you talking. So you could place them on the sides of your head or whatever you want to do. But that's how you do it. And then you simply click save after you've chosen what you want. One other thing I didn't talk about, sorry, is you can actually choose the duration. So these are starting at 10 seconds, 9.58 to 10.08. So you can actually select when they start, but it has to be at least 10 seconds. The longest it can be is 20 seconds. So you can just go up here and click and type in the number that you would like and decide how long you want them to be showing up on the screen while you're talking. I'm gonna hit next and then I will just upload the video whenever I'm ready. So hopefully this helps. Thanks you guys.